The Sergeant Nick Reisner Act is now officially a law. Governor Kay Ivey signed the bill this morning. Way 31's Alex Torres Perez joins us live from Sheffield Police Department this afternoon. Alex, you spoke with Reisner's brother in blue about this momentous occasion. Yeah, it was a bittersweet moment for the Sheffield Police Department. You can actually still tell there are blue ribbons tied on the light post inside. And when you actually walk into the lobby, you can really tell the love this department had for Sergeant Nick Reisner. Photos of him hang on the wall and plaques are on display honoring him for making the ultimate sacrifice. Now, I spoke with one of Reisner's co-workers, Lieutenant Matt Stotson, who was actually injured during the incident back in October. He says Nick was more than a brother in blue. He really considered him actual family. So he was glad to see lawmakers from both sides come together to unite unanimously passed this bill and support law enforcement. He says no one should ever have to go through the loss and grief the Reisner family and the Sheffield Police Department are feeling. And he explains that laws need to be strict enough to make criminals think twice before pulling a weapon and running, ruining other people's lives. So when I asked him if he thinks this new law does that, this is what he had to say. I hope so. Um, and if it doesn't, at least it keeps them off the street for them to do it again to somebody else. Now, Dotson says the new law makes it seem as though Nick is still working and keeping the community he loved safe. Now, Governor Kay Ivey is holding a ceremonial signing of this bill at a later time. It's still unclear when that will happen, but the Reisner family and Lieutenant Matt Dotson both say that they'll be there. Reporting live in Sheffield, Alex Torres Perez, Wait 31 News. All right, thank you, Alex. Now, Reisner's accused killer is set to appear in court later this month. Brian Martin has an arraignment hearing set for April 28th. He's accused of killing Nick Reisner and another man, William Mielbach Jr., back in October. Martin pleaded guilty to killing his father in 2016. He remains in the Morgan County Jail without bond, charged with capital murder.